Um, Dominic, this is going to be a, a very, very unpleasant week for the government, isn't it? What is likely to be going on over the next couple of days? So they're going to uh, table the uh, withdrawal agreement bill uh, this evening and then they're going to it will be uh, voted on from tomorrow. Uh, the first question is going to be on second reading of the bill and uh, that's the, sort of on the principles of the bill. But you might see that some MPs who don't actually support the deal might abstain on the second reading to allow it to, to get further down the line so that they can amend it. There, there'll then be a vote on the what's called the programme motion uh, for passing the withdrawal agreement bill. And that basically covers the timetabling. So not, not just the principle of the deal itself, but when the government plans to debate it. And the first thing the government has to worry about, though, are the amendments, right? Mm. And so what amendments might we see? Yes, so the, there's uh, several amendments. Um, there's a potential amendment on a customs union, uh, and it'll be uh, really interesting to see how exactly that's drafted and which part of the bill it looks to amend. And the question really is, does it seek to uh, change the deal as negotiated with the European Union? Because obviously the UK-wide backstop, which contained a customs union, has been removed from the withdrawal agreement, um, and the political declaration signals the direction of travel away from, away from the customs union. So the, the government doesn't want a customs union, opposition mm. MPs might try and attach a customs union to the withdrawal agreement bill. Mm. That's right, yes. But if it, but if they're only trying to, if they're just trying to seek the government uh, to negotiate a customs union as part of the future relationship, then that won't really be legally binding because obviously the future relationship hasn't been negotiated yet. So in theory, Boris Johnson could go into a general election and get a majority and then uh, remove the commitment to negotiate a customs union. I think really a lot of these amendments are going to be about questions that haven't really been decided yet and can't can't really be decided for several years. And what about the second referendum? That's a possible amendment too. Right? That's a possible amendment too, yeah. And uh, the, the numbers on that are likely to be quite tight. Um, but I think now that, there's, now that there's a deal on the table, you might see some of the sort of swing voters on a second referendum start to move away from it. Um, I think previously, if, if there had been no deal agreed between the government and the European Union, then you might have seen people who ideally want a kind of softish Brexit backing a second referendum as a way to kind of stop no deal. But now that no deal is no longer really seen as a, as a likely option with a deal negotiated, like those swing voters might lean away from a second referendum. So whether or not it passes is unclear, but it will definitely be tabled.